Today I filmed for you a requested video, which was to do a makeup look that is possibly wearable for work or school or somewhere that's not gory and it's not over the top. I mean, it's a lot, but it's something cool that you could possibly wear to work or out and about that's a little more wearable. So I started off by putting a white shadow all over my lids so that all the other shadows blend out better and then using a gel black pencil on my entire the mobile lid and then blending that out. Then I really packed on a green color. This is from the Coastal Scents 252 palette and it's just one of, actually a few of the green shades in there. Really pack it on and by doing that dabbing motion, it really packs the color on instead of just blending it straight out. And then on the inner portion of the eyes, I took some of the purple shades out of that same palette and just do the same thing, dab them on and really build them up. And I went all the way out to my nose and kind of contoured along the sides of it because I like that look that it gives. Plus it's Halloween. Then using the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the color Envy, it's a black purple shade. It's really beautiful, it's like a duochrome. Um, and I put that all over my mobile lid and then blended out my crease a little bit so that it's not so harsh. And then this purple color you see me applying on is the Makeup Geek shadow in Pop Culture. And then taking some darker green, putting it into my crease, and then taking some of the, it, it's, this is a shade in the Coastal Scents palette, it's this really vibrant shimmery green. I wanted the eye look to be shimmery too so that it catches attention, because like I said, it's Halloween, you don't want to look underwhelming. Then I took a little bit of lash glue and put on some glitter. This is one of the glitter injections. I Don't ask me the name. I tried looking. I can't find it. It's one that's got lots of rainbowy flecks in it, but it's actually perfect. It's purple and green. Kind of shows up as silver in the packaging, but on the eyes it doesn't look that way. Then I ran those same colors on my lower lash line. This is the NYX liquid white liquid liner it's the matte liner and i am just drawing on the main shapes for the spider web you can go all the way around your eye if you want i didn't i just went along the edges of my eye and then connect it you guys know you made spider webs as a kid it's the same crap on your face so this is the most simple way that i can explain it to you is to do, to do the traditional spider web I took that same white liquid liner and did a little mini wing connecting it to part of the spider web just so that it looked a little more cohesive. Throw on some mascara and some false lashes. Taking that same, just dotting little bits to kind of finish it up and give it a more finished look to it. And that is it. It's very simple. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Very straightforward, to the point. You can kind of change it up, do any colors you want. And yeah, I hope you guys like it. Happy Halloween, everybody. This is some of the first in my Halloween tutorial series. If you guys want to, definitely stick around my channel. There are going to be some awesome tutorials coming out, scary and hilarious ones coming out. So subscribe and share, and you guys will see some really amazing tutorials. Um, so subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also follow me, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Periscope, the whole thing. They're all Rob Beauty Christie. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you at my next video.